Hong Kong is an incredible city to visit and I think every street photographer should come here at least one day to experience their photography and the exciting living in Hong Kong. start this day of photography but first we're gonna have to start properly with a special Hong Kong breakfast. <laughs> This is the typical Hong Kongese uh, kind of breakfast, which is a good mix between uh, English breakfast and more Asian style. You also have a version with the macaroni inside. There is one place which is known for, which is the Australian dairy something. I will give you everything in the description. Make sure to check it out. There is all the address that I'm visiting today. And this place is extremely recommended. People were very nice. You're always sitting on a table with other person that you don't know. And all this cost me about four US dollars. <laughs> I say street photography, but I want to talk more about traveling, cultural kind of photography. This is how I describe my job mostly. If you travel to Hong Kong, make sure to visit one of these markets because those markets are some of my favorite places to photograph the life in a city. This is where people live, where people eat. This is where you should come to take the life in picture and archive all this Hong Kongese style of living, which is typically Asian. And that's also one of the reasons why I love Asia for photography. It's so photogenic for so many reasons. Keep in mind, the quality of your photography is not related to the place you go, but to your skill in particular. But come on, let's be honest. Isn't it easy here? just arrived at Lei Hue Moon, this like port village which is stick to Hong Kong and already the atmosphere is crazy. This is one of the places I wanted to visit. So far I just got into the village and this is extremely extremely worth it and after that later tonight I need to go to a lab to develop my film and also to get the much more vibrant and exciting life of Hong Kong. So for now it will be a little bit more chill, but I think it's good to be here to balance for the video. Look at this, the whole place look crazy. So I guess this is the place where they hang their clothes to let them dry. But with the view behind, that looks very, very crazy. I think this is the world that I use the most uh, so far since I'm in Hong Kong is crazy. This city is crazy. There is just too much things to do, too much things and people to take pictures of it. It's really crazy. I understand why a photographer needs to be here as a ritual, let's say. This is why it's good to have Google Translate always with you, especially in this kind of country where I have no idea what's written everywhere. This is one of the places I wanted to check to take pictures of like people playing basketball around this like uh, neighborhood. Uh, but they are rebuilding it, let's say, renovating it. But this place, if you have the opportunity, it looks very, very unique. You 
you see this kind of red mark on the stone. The red temples in Hong Kong are very, very beautiful. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Japan too. Those landscapes are quite majestic. I was expecting some sun. I didn't get almost any sun during the whole trip, but this clouds and the mist on the background over there are doing something quite mystic that I really like. And I think we will keep in this direction. There's someone that was just walking around this area there. We arrived at the end after all this uh, small, the small village. I wasn't expecting to go that far, but this place is very incredible. The view that we have with the building on the landscape there, on the background, and all this area with the grass, the small mountain just behind, there is so many opportunities for good portrait, and that's, I guess, why there is like some... Uh, Hong Kong is recording something and shooting. I don't know for, it looks like it's for a cloth, clothing brand or something like that. I don't have a specific style. I'm always enjoying the opportunity that comes to me. But uh, I like when there is like a lot of living people wandering around. That's why I really like Hong Kong for this. The city is moving crazy fast everywhere, every time. So we are going back to the city, but it was a good time to discover the, this area. So if you have a model and you want some nature kind of portrait, I really recommend you to, to stay around here. And look at this, a little camp here. Isn't it nice? Station. Do I pronounce it properly? I have no idea. I'm a little bit hungry now, so it's time to get one of the other specialties you can get in Hong Kong. Of course I took the Nutella extra, of course. It's mostly just a waffle, but it's a good excuse to get one. Yes, of course, in Hong Kong, it's known for the film photography culture. You can see like the young generation is really enjoying it. And something surprising is that the, the new trend of film photography is already too old. Like they are using now like the tiny compact digital camera. Same as well uh, in Japan. I've seen a lot of students using this. We might arrive to the goldfish market. I hope soon, because to be honest, this kind of market I really don't like it. I feel like this is the kind of stuff that you can find everywhere in the world and it's always the same crappy things. I don't know, it doesn't feel good at all. I really don't like this market and every time I get there, I hate the pictures that I take. It doesn't feel like authenticity, I would say, even if it is in some way, but I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> 
巴呀、啊，好巴呀，呀，红人你个巴闭喎，乖啊乖乖乖乖，好乖，好乖，好乖，好乖，系啊，哈哈，啲人细想戒啊嗰啲，啊I hope you will be able to hear me here. It's so noisy. I'm so much in between. I hate seeing birds in cage, but I'm also very fascinated by those animals. I feel like a child when I when I see them. It's crazy. But we got a nice picture. There's probably two, three very, very good ones that I did. I'm just extremely scared, and one will just start pooping randomly. But the floor looks very, very clean. Well, finished with the bird market. It's very small, but the good thing about it is that at least you go, you don't get lost, and you can get the picture you want very quickly. And just next to it, you have the flower market, which I'm less interested in. The sun is hiding more and more. We are going to head to the goldfish market. I think I'm. I think I'm ready to to get some of these pictures. Still 800T that was on my Nikon FE2. It's kind of tricky to get some pictures at the fish market. You need to be a little bit extra careful because many, many of the shops have the no photo mentioned because it's like the closest market close to the touristic areas. But that's totally worth it to see and take some pictures because of the colors. It's very, very, very beautiful. I just get my food. It took some time and we have 
one of the specialty from Hong Kong, which is the clay hot pot rice. That I have to keep still getting warmer with the rice inside them. I hope you liked the video, that was the first time in English. I might switch in English all my video coming. I will see how comfortable I feel with it. But so far, I think we got nice pictures in Hong Kong. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Ciao.